Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, where were we at the end of the last episode? I've completely forgotten. My mind's gone completely blank because I had a bit of a continuity problem. Anyway, doesn't matter. Let's get on with the next thing. What I want to do today is make the Quarry Plus, because that's one of the quests. So that's what we have to do for that one. So, um, Quarry Plus is... Da -da -da -da. I should be on this it should be on this page somewhere, one of them. Here we go. We need to make a pump plus, no, no, quarry plus. Here we go. So we need 32 diamonds, 32 gold, 64 iron, 16 redstone, and two ender pearls. Put into the workbench plus will give us a quarry plus. Well, look, I've already got that prepared on most of it, so let's, so let's put it into the quarry plus, into the machine here. Da, 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 and two of those, actually. And then we can do our quarry plus. Oh, that's mining well plus. What have I missed out? 32 diamonds. Oh, gold. I needed more gold, didn't I? Have I got any gold with me? 664 buckets. That's plenty, but not in here. No, three nuggets. Brilliant. So let's get some more gold cooking. Well, if I haven't already done that. Yeah, I got run out of shiny metal now. I've converted everything to something I shouldn't have done. Right, blocks. In fact, it actually doesn't matter. It happens. We can always reuse those. So we need some gold. We need 32 ingots. Let's put that into there. Get the gold bucket out of here. Put the gold bucket into the filter. I wonder if there's a better way to do this. I know we have a lot of these export buses, but I don't have a lot of these yet. Let's put that into there. Casters. Looks like I'm actually short of gold. It looks like I'm completely short of gold. Okay, well, we're going to have to fix that, aren't we? One of the things I want to do today is to actually speed up the processes. Have I got any gold ore in there? No. In here, oh look, there's all got broken gold ores in here. So let's take the copper ore out of here. Get that cunt across to go as gold. Put that back in again. What I actually would like to do today is to actually speed this machine up because it's far too slow as well. 13, how many do we need? I've forgotten. Let's go and count the difference now. Can't be too far away. 16. Well, okay, we need 16. So when that comes up to 16, then we've got enough, I think, to make the Quarry Plus. Now, the Quarry Plus is amazing. It's sort of like a very souped up version of um, the Quarry. But instead of being able to do 64 by 64, this can do, I think it's 256 by 256. So that's quite a beast. So let's go and put my end pull away as well. I think I've got, is that empty good? In fact, I might as well get some more end pulls cooking because it's always useful to have end pulls. Even got 13 end pulls, how about that? Get two stacks like that and get this end of pearls cooking. Now we have this souped up blazer, we can it does actually work pretty f quite quickly. And my recipes aren't working, so quick empty reload. Let's try that again. Oh, still not working. Oh, I'll put in. Oh, I'm still daft. Try that. That's not the first time I've done that, is it? There we go. There we are, smashing, let that do its business. And I've just heard the lasers clicking away. So gold, 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 we need 16 more ingots of gold and then we can start to get the Quarry Plus going. That's going nicely. That doesn't seem to be working at all. What am I doing then? That must be getting exported out of here. Is it all in here? That's copper. We'll turn that into an output mode, I think. Put the copper away. In fact, that's, I think, what we should be doing anyway. Can't see any uses for that. And it's still zero in here. Just go and check what gold we've got in the system. It might be just it takes a bit of time to come through. I've got plenty of gold. So why is that not, oh, I know exactly why that's not importing. 
Nope, we should be fine. Ah, because I've got this turned on. Whoops. At least I spotted it eventually. So we need 16 of these. Right. Let's go and have a quick look downstairs while, while that's happening. Because I set up that grinder, and the grinder seems to be working quite well. So what have we got in here? So we've got feathers, roast chicken. How we get roast chicken, I don't know. And that side, and let's look what we got. This, this side is usually better. Indeed it is, look. Instead of getting one, we get eight, blood, uh, eight blaze rods, which is quite impressive. And another roast chicken. Interesting that you get roast chickens from mobs. Never mind, I don't know, understand that. But there we are. I'm not going to question the logic. That's just doing under pearl, so we should have our gold now. We do. So we can turn this off. Take those, and maybe we've got enough to get this thing going. Makes me wonder if I'm doing this completely right, actually. There we go. So now we can make our quarry plus, and that should enable us to complete another quest. Let's have a look at our quest data. Oh, I was looking at fuel drum. Fuel drum. I said that's going to be a bit of a challenge, but it shouldn't be impossible. So I'm basically looking at improvements, aren't I? Oh, I haven't claimed the laser plus one yet. Let's just claim the laser plus one. Done. So the quarry plus is incomplete. Then we get another 10 X levels of XP. Interesting. Well, let's save that. So we should complete this quest as well. Won't be very much longer, and then I'll have a quarry floating in my cell. So we, I think we also have to do a mining a refinery. Actually, so another recipe we have to do. Let's look at the refinery recipe. That's a bit similar, but more expensive because we want a fuel drum, don't we? And it's uh, this one. So we have to do refine oil. So one milli bucket of oil will give us one milli bucket of fuel. 120 RF and to make this we need to assembly machine recipe 32 iron and lead can we do an assembly machine that's industrial craft isn't it oops no not from there I can't Let's put it on the end of this What does the assembly machine look like? Don't know. But I do want to speed up. I might have to change my plan a bit here. And boom, boom. Because I was looking about some weapons as well. That was the reason I was looking at this. And I've decided I'm going to go for shiny weapons because they seem to be the ones with the highest attack damage. So this is. A shiny reinforced two crossbow. And shiny's not too expensive. We have quite a lot of shiny. Well, I don't see the assembly machine in here. So maybe we have to look for that later on. So what I would like to do first now, let's put this stuff back in here. We don't need these. I probably don't need so many torches. Let's put those away. Actually, let's take a stack of torches just in case. Gold we can put in here like that, and shiny block of platinum. We'll convert the block of platinum anyway. Let's convert that so it doesn't take up extra slots. And we have our quarry plus. Let's do the quest. Detect. Claim. Done. So that brings us then on to this one where we have to make a refinery plus. That's going to take some time to prepare the stuff for that, but let's see what we can actually do. I'm going to get rid of the levels first of all. And I'm going to put this away for the time being. Oh, look, I made I missed. I made some armor. I thought it was about time I made some armor. Got plenty of iron. Don't ask me why I haven't done it already. 
I suppose because there aren't actually that many mobs around. Um, so we don't have to do too much fighting. So, right, what did I want to do? Refinery plus, let's have a look at what we need to do for that one. So we need, I was going to get a piece of paper and pencil. So we need, I'm going to write it down because I always forget this. So we need 36 diamonds. 24 gold, no big deal. 24 iron. Ingots, that is 128 or two stacks of glass. 32 redstone. Two, two anvils and 24 obsidian and that'll give us a refinery plus actually I might have most of this stuff I've got 70 glass here already one diamond that's a bit poor let's go and have a look what diamonds we've got over here eight so I'm gonna have to wait quite a long time before the diamonds have come through but this should be sieving away and it's not why not because that's empty fine let's get rid of this cache here so I've actually cleared out one of the caches and I've got another one over here let's put this cache up here and take the other one out of here like this and put the other one up here because we've got 10,000 moon rock in there which is going to help hopefully get our stuff now I'm going to leave as much as I can in here to start with I'll take away the coal, of, the mini coals of course because we can put those straight into this hopper up here let's put the other bit down straight down here like that so we get that ready what I want to do is diamonds are going to be a bit of a problem I can use the mini coals for that mm. and let's do this first of all I want to get this thing upgraded so the first thing I'm going to do is to remove this hopper from here like this by simply right clicking it with a, with a wrench so it doesn't attach anymore and then I'm going to take the gold out of here like that and put the gold back into actually I'll put it in the chest up here now give that a sort so now this is emptied out which is great so we can now then we can now upgrade this thing so let's take the wrench and shift right click it so the first one we're going to do is we're going to make it hardened. I might be able to make it reinforced as well if I can get through the door. I don't want to hit that with that one there. Let's write this one. So let's have a look at the uses of this. So we might be able to do this straight off. We've got Invar. Fantastic. The next one we might also be able to do straight away because I've got the Electrum gear and I've got some signal and ingots, I think. So look at the uses of that one nothing oh, actually that was on the signal and gear wasn't it hold a second that's what we do for that one um i think it's actually electrum plus signal isn't it so look at that yep i've got a gear and the other one is electrum ingots i think oh no it's hardened glass now the hardened glass isn't too bad that's one block of lead and one obsidian so we need four of those so let's get four blocks of lead have I got lead in here five ingots brilliant actually I've got two different types of lead I might have enough let's do some ore converting on this double foundation let's take that out of there what do we need we need four four nines thirty six oh, I can do it good and obsidian we should have no shortage of supply of obsidian let's go downstairs and take a stack of obsidian from here let's go upstairs and put these into the assembly machine and that recipe doesn't show up because it's the wrong type of lead mm -hmm. so what was the recipe for this Hardened glass is what we want, don't we? Um, usage of this one. So that's thermal foundation. It's the usual problem, actually. Have we got thermal foundation in here? Yes, I have. Good. So I just put that through there and get the thermal foundation out. And that should now work. 
Fantastic, look at that. Let's turn that off so we get that one. Turn that off. So we now have these. Look, it's the antipodes coming in fairly fast. So we should now be able to upgrade this machine again. Right click this and do it usage again. And the crucible reinforce, fantastic. That's we'll put it back in place and so we can then start to carry on stuff. It won't go faster yet because we've not added any speed upgrades to it. In fact, if I look at this again here and have a look at the usage of this, the next one is basically oh that's reinforced. Oops, let's go back again. This one. So an Enderium gear plus silver ingots. Now Enderium gear is Enderium. What can we do with that? Can we make Pyrothium and Enderium blend? If we're going to be able to do it at all, we're going to be able to do it through the um, synthesizer. Basically, that is an Ender pearl decomposed. Tin, silver and platinum. So that's shiny metal. We can do this. Let's go back and have a look at this one. Um, pyrothium dust. Sulfur, no problem. That should actually also be no problem. Hmm. Okay, good. So we can do this up next upgrade on that one. So it might well be worth doing that. Let's put this back into place here, here like that. And then turn this round back so it faces it. There we go. I think something might have gone into here. No, lucky, that's fast enough. So let's actually get one of these speed upgrades built. Now, what we want is an augment. Have I got them selected on my filters? Yes, I have. Fantastic. So can we do this? Oh, we can make this. We can make the first augment. I've got enough of the bronze. I made some bronze, I think, between episodes. And this one blazing pyrothium we need to do some blazing pyrothium so that's fairly straightforward we need some of that some coal pulverized coal some sulfur which we actually get from pulverizing coal i think we got nine of those and what was the, th the other thing for usage of myself get used to blazing pyrothium so it's probably shapeless crafting indeed it is redstone okay Sixteen of those. So shapeless crafting, basically, if I'm not mistaken, we can just shove all of these. Oops. Ah, damn. Try again. And coal was on the first page, wasn't it? But in fact, for that matter, I don't have to do that there, do I? Because I've got that recipe already used. Let's just do it on my own. Yep. I think I'm going to just do all of it. Here we get 18. We're just short of sulfur. So we can put those two in there like that. So we get our second augment, which is great. I didn't expect to be able to do that quite so easily. So now let's right click this, go to the augmentation and get these two speed upgrades in place. Now look at the speed of that, starting to process it at a sensible speed. Now let's go and see if we can make some Enderium blend. Silver ingots aren't going to be a problem, but Enderium might be. So we need basically four ingots of Enderium. So let's have a look. We've already got one of these, that's no big deal. So we need to decompose that. Um, I need the upgrade, don't I? Enderium blend. Enderium and blend. So let's use that. 
So we want a gear, we'll use a gear, that's it. So in the assembly table we need, ah, oh, okay, the recipe's changed. So I basically need, that's okay, but the other one isn't. So shapeless crafting, resonant ender, that's no problem. Silver, tin, and uh, two silvers, two tins, and one bucket of endian. We should be able to do that. So we're getting end ender pulls fairly quickly now. But is that the most efficient way of doing this? Let's have a look. Let's see what we've got on the silver line. 28, we'll take those. And the other one was tin, wasn't it? 8. I'm going to try doing this through mine chem. It might be more interesting. I'm not going to... Let's take the copper out of here. Oh, carbon. Out of here. Put the carbon up there. Do that again. Let's come on. Let's take away that so things carry on processing. In fact, I can put those into here, can't I? to do that probably it's the thing that fills it this thing up most I reckon these mini carbons right enderium blend so ender pearls have a look what we had to do for that it's actually why can't I see the blend in here here we go mine chem so we need tin silver and shiny metal platinum I get some. I didn't get any silver metal. Let's just decompose this tin. Probably don't need very many. That's that's thirty one. Forty eight. I'm not sure. I didn't think that was right. Silver and some shiny metal. Let's go and find some shiny metal. Nope. Yeah, we can take one of these. I'm not doing the I'm not doing the arithmetic in my head at the moment. I should do. So let's have a look at what the recipe for this is. It might be one of these ones which is broken. I don't. You never know. If I get an ingot, I get an ingot, and if I don't, I don't. So we need eight tin, four silver, and four platinum. And that's basically one in the pull. And that'll make one. And we need four, don't we? I think we need four, yes. So, okay, so eight tin. So we need 64 of those. Four of these and four silver then we need an ender pulse, we need four ender pulse to be decomposed but we need some more um, tin don't we, so I'm going to put another three like that, and that'll give me another 48 I'm doing more because it might be needed, so let's just take a risk and do one ender pull at a time like this, so you get the einsteinium and the calcium so put that into here like that and the Einsteinium into here and we get a blend so we can take that out of there let's go along here and put that into the book so I don't forget so we need a four, another four of those so we should be able to do that one two three So we now have our four, and the Einsteinium should have disappeared from in here, which it has done, fantastic. And we're left with, um, well, basically enough for another few ingots. And I think we need to convert that to ingots, or do we? Let me just double check that. I think maybe not, actually. Um, Enderium ingot. Yes, we need 10 pyrothium dust, and we've not got enough pyrothium dust. We've got 16. Well, that'll make one. Let's put it into the assembly table like that. And what we can do with that is we can make some more of this. And the only thing we're short of really, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, sulfur. So we, we should have plenty of coal in here. Let's take some coal out of here. Let's take two stacks and come along and grind these up. 
and make out of that some sulfur. I don't know whether there's another way of doing it. Let me double check that before I start it. Um, let's do it this way. Uh, oh no, I don't want to do that. I want this one, don't I? So this one here, sulfur. So we can pulverize sulfur or coal and we get a 15% chance, which is decent. We can pulverize blaze rods or sulfur ore, which we can't do yet because we've not been to Venus. Lapis lazuli we can't do and we can't do nether quartz either. What else can we do? Can we mine chemit by any, sen any sense? Sulfur, well we can from sulfur. Sulfur we get from decomposing sulfur, brilliant. Different types of sulfur. What's that one? Hydrogen sulfide. That's not very useful. You can only get that from a bucket. What's this one here? Pyrite. Iron sulfide. What's this come from? Lepasazulia. That's not very useful either. I wanted this one, didn't I? It's on page 10. What have we got here? Sulfur dioxide. Now, sulfur dioxide. No. We can't get that from anything useful. Sulfate. Copper sulfate. Yep. Yeah, all sulfates. Yeah, that'll be out after we lapis lazuli, I reckon. Okay, I'm going to have to do it the hard way. Just pulverize this a little bit the fastest. Oh, wrong red redstone furnace. Not what I want. I want the pulverizer. Hmm, that was strange. So we should get from one stack 15%, so we should get about nine. We also need to make some more blaze powders. Now blaze powder is dead easy. We've got plenty of blaze rods because of from below. And I need to change my oxygen tank. I'm gonna do this one to do it like this. So blaze rods, let's take a couple. those get some hardly reactive plutonium and clear this off now because we don't need this recipe anymore and it's one there so that'll give me 12 I should have eight another one 17 I think that was got rid of it all yes it did so that's how we do that one let's have a look how we're doing for sulfur None. Wait, that's not a very that's not a very good chat. Fifteen percent, and I get one. That's really weird. I don't know whether you can increase the the chance of these. Let's have a look. What have we got here for the augments? Secondary gearbox shift. Just fuel efficiency. Power output, that's for power. A secondary chance. So, what do we have to do for this? Three wool, that's pretty good. I can do that, I think. Let's see if we can increase the chance of that one. That's wool I should have because I've got string. Let's have a look. 32, that's not too bad. I'll give me four wool. Wait, well, sorry, I can't count as usual. And we need the secondary chance one. I've got plenty of um, this one, huh? Yep. I've got plenty of bronze. I made some bronze. Now, what we can also do is come along here with a basic one and remove one of the uh, augments that's already in the machine. So the one we could actually move is remove the servo because we don't need it. In fact, we don't even need redstone for that matter because it's, it's always on. So we could take that out. And then we could put a second one in here, and the second one is made out of hardened hardened glass. 
Oh, that should actually also be possible. So all we need to make some more hardened glass. So that was lead and obsidian, wasn't it? Have we got any more lead in here? 11, not enough. Right, we need to get some lead going. Actually, lead's cooking at the moment. So let's go in here, get some lead out of here. Take away the gold, because that's already emptied now. And we need to empty that out to make sure that there's no more gold in there. Okay, lead blocks is what we want. So let's put, put the lead straight in here like that. Put the lead in. Where's it gone to? Bucket? I can't see you. There you are. Put the bucket back. So we basically just need one, don't we? So I, that'll give me four blocks. Because we've got enough that silver. It'll be the wrong type of lead. So I'll have to convert that lead. In fact, I will actually use the two things, I think. And obsidian was the other one, wasn't it? Tonight. through the ore converter and come along here put those two into here oh I, do you know I thought I'd got some more turn the end of pull off turn it back on again oh I should have left the endearing in blender there so we, as you see now we've got two hardened glass so that should be enough with the extra wall that I got from the, there to make the secondary chance one here like this Oops, I'm missing something. What am I missing? Rock wool. Actually, rock wool is... There's another recipe for rock wool. I'm sure that's blue rock wool. We don't want that one. Um, this one. Nope. I want the plain white. Come on, give me the one I want. I think rock wool is made from... Hmm. There's one of these is just straightforward, uncolored rock wool. anything black I know there's a simple recipe for this great like great mm. I'm having difficulty seeing it how many have you got in here sixteen that's the sixteen colors but Rockwell itself has a recipe and I don't see it hope it's not broken I think this is driving me crazy let's get rid of these things in here There is a plain rock wall. Let's try that under wall. The state of straightforward colours of that. That's clay. White rock wall. I know there's a recipe for this. It's just the plain rock wall. And I think it's made. I wonder if it disappeared somewhere. I'll have to look it up. But that's a shame because the only thing I need in here is some rock wool. And I don't think I've got any in it. I might have made it once upon a time. Grout. Nope, I don't see any rock wool there. Right, I'm going to have to research that because I, I can't figure it out. I never run out of time. So. 
Next time I'm going to carry on making some more Enderium blend, I think. How are we doing for Sulfur 6? It wasn't exactly terribly great, but it's not too bad. I'll put the silver back in there while I'm thinking about it. 7. Okay. Ooh, I look different in my new suit, don't I? So until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.